Good morning, this is David Goodell with Serena Microfocus. Today, we're here to talk about setting up SBM with Microsoft SQL Server and how to set up the logins within Microsoft SQL Server so that you can access an SBM database. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Okay, here is our SQL Management Studio here. In here we have our SQL Server. If you take a look at our database, you'll see a couple of databases here. This is our the database that we're currently using for SBM. If I expand that, we're going to take a look at look at the tables. So notice how these tables are all SBM tables. Things like Beeple and QRTC and SWC and TS. Okay, these are all SBM tables. Notice how all of those tables had this DBO prefixing them. Okay. So that DBO that prefixes those tables, that is your database schema. Schema tables are currently owned within SBM. Um, you can use any schema that you want. It doesn't have to be DBO. As we move on, you'll see uh, how that's done. So let's go ahead and go down under security here, which is the SQL Server security. And we're going to take a look at our login. So we're going to create a new login. And this new login, we'll call it SBM login. Okay, it could be Windows authentication or it can be a SQL Server login. So we'll specify a SQL Server authentication. And then we're going to type in our password. Since that's simple, I'm going to uncheck that. Generally, you're going to want a much stronger password. Now, so that's our login. We're going to choose our database as our default. Um, and then after general, we look at server re roles. These server roles, you don't need anything special. Just make it public. Um, nothing special is needed. Then we're going to go take a look at our user mapping. And this is where we take the login that we have over here and we tell it to give access to this database. Notice how there's another user field here. And in a minute, we'll see where that pops up. But we're going to keep the same name for the user as we have for the login. And then you have the default schema. Now, if our all those tables had been owned by SPM, maybe the default schema would be SPM. Or maybe it would be SPM login if they were owned by SPM login. Since they are not, we're going to have the default schema be DBO. This means that by default, when SPM creates a database within or creates a table within the database, that table will be owned by DBO or will be in the DBO schema. Now, for privileges, I'm going to make a DB owner because SBM needs DB owner level privileges here. So let's go ahead and click OK. So that is the way you create a login. Now, notice how it jumped back up to our database here and it showed the login, the user SBM login under users. If I scroll down a little bit under security logins, see there's the SBM login mapping to this user. And of course, when we log in by default, or when we create new tables, we're always going to create them in the DBO schema. So where do we move on from there? So let's go ahead in the same database. I'm going to go over here. Notice I'm logged in as SA. I'm looking at that database. And let's do a select star from TS system settings and now we're going to look in the database and see how we handle um, that ownership so when i take a look and do a weather condition and the table name is ts name or the field name rather and i'm going to see where that is like So there's a record in there that has a value of schema name. Okay, 
So that looks correct. If I execute that, I'll have a record. You'll notice that it has a, a TS string value of DBO. The string default is null. It's not necessary here because we've got the string value of DBO. And that's how SBM knows where to look for tables at. Is it looks at this value, sees when it tries to access a table that it needs to look in the DBO schema. Okay, so that's that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this other new database that I have up here. I'll go ahead and collapse security. Um, I, here I created a new database. Basically, it'll start off as blank, and then I use the system admin to create the tables within that database. So let's take a look at yeah, let's take a look at that system admin. Here's my system admin create database you know this is warning that data is going to be overwritten okay i choose my new odbc connection that points to that database and then i actually created a login called sdm new and i gave it a password and then i began to log in this tell explains to you be careful you don't know you know, your tables will get placed into the schema that's related to this login. And let's go see. So I went ahead and hit next and you know, created the database. And let's go ahead and see what SBM did. Okay. In this, we're going to take a look at our tables. You'll see SWC, TS tables. Notice how they're all prefixed with new. That SBM new uh, is the schema that they got put into. So let's see why they got put into that schema. If we go back down under our login security, you'll see my SBM new login I had for that. When they take a look at the properties and my user mapping, you'll see that, you know, it maps to the user SBM new, but that user has a default schema of SBM new. So that means whenever it would create a new table, it was going to put it into the SBM new schema. And that's exactly what happened with SBM. Everything got put into the SBM new schema. Now, again, we can do that, but when we do that, we got to go take a look at the TS system settings of that database. So let's see what happens when we do that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and change my database up here to new database. Now, we're still logged in as SA. Let's see what happens when I run that query. Oh, it didn't find it. So let's see. That is because it was looking in the default schema for SA, which is DBO. So let's go ahead and type in SBM new period. Notice how all of a sudden it finds tables. So let's go ahead and run that query again. Now it found the table in the SBM new schema and uh, currently our string values are set to null. So let's go ahead and update that so that SBM will know where to look in the future. So type. Okay, so here's my new query. Um, I'm updating both the default and the string value. The string value, again, is the most important one because that's the key one it's going to be looking at. But I chose to just make them match. So if I highlight that and hit Execute, and then go ahead and select. Now this database is set up to look for all of its tables in SBN new. So we should be able to connect to this database and all's well. So that is how SBM handles logins and users and schemas within SQL Server. So at this point, we're all done. Go ahead, have a nice rest of your day, and talk to you later.